Okay, dear, so Islam alaikum. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is about uh, the document display transactions in SAP API. So, through the EDXS menu, the document display in both document change are placed in this menu uh, in the document folder. So, let's go to document display. If you know the document number, for example, if a document number is known, 713 maybe this is the document the company code is us double zero and the fiscal year is 2017 so in that case we can just enter these three parameters and we can get the document displayed once the document is here we can see the debits and the credits in the document the minus sign actually denotes the credit and the plus sign is for debit and if you want to see the header information of this document then we can just call the header from here and we can see that uh, actually this document has been entered by GBI-067 this is the date of entry which uh, the concept that we discussed that the entry date is something different from the document date and the posting date and this is the time of entry as recorded by the system the system time and since our server is placed in Australia so this is uh, Australia standard time if uh, somebody else has earlier part this document and then the document was posted as we discussed the parking and posting mechanism then we would be able to see the user id of the person who has actually parked this document over here and the user id of the person who has posted this document will be appearing over here so this is the simplest way of showing a document then let's go to uh, uh, find a document if we don't know the document number then of course we cannot insert the document number over here so then we call the document list and in the document list you can see there are various parameters starting from the company code the fiscal year which is usually 2017 for us for the time being the document type is something Jano German for us for the time being the posting date is something which we can restrict our search on so let's say if I want to search how many documents or the documents that have been posted on 14 Feb right uh, and there is no other criteria that I am mentioning except the company code, the fiscal year and this is by default the criteria the system is taken so we don't talk about uh, anything about this and this is the only criteria that I have given so let's see how many documents can we have and you see uh, whenever this button is there the enter key won't actually lead you to the end result actually you have to press this execute button or F8 button so when you do this you can see that there are 116 documents which have been posted on 14 February so again uh, we can see any document which we are interested in for example if I am interested in this document I can just double click this and the commercial content of the document is here bank is being debited misc revenue is being credited and also we can see the header information that this document has been entered by GBI-021 and the other documents, other important information including the T code through which this document was posted. So, uh, next we uh, go back again and now we, uh, I want to search all the, all the documents which have been posted by my user ID regardless of any other criteria and maybe I can have some other criteria as well that I want documents posted by me only on a certain date but this time I am just searching for the documents posted by me I execute and the system says specify another selection criteria this is the warning message so we can override the warning by pressing enter and we see all the documents which have been posted by my user ID so you can try it for your user ID with or without any date Again, I can see the details of the document by double clicking this and then uh, I can see the commercial content of the document over here and I can call the header uh, of the document in which I can see that this document is actually posted by GPI 391. So going ahead, now if I want to search any document which is not entered by me but it is entered by maybe some other user. So then we cannot see any user ID over here, any other user ID. So there is another set of parameters hidden in the dynamic selection. Again, when you press the dynamic selection, the system says it's best to specify another search criteria, which is a warning message. So we can override this by pressing enter. And over here, you can see that the green ones are the selected fields. So username, I can restrict the username maybe to GBI 
061. So then I can only see all the documents which are entered by GBI 061 with no date restriction over here. Again a warning message which overridden by pressing enter and I can see all the documents entered by GBI 061 and again I can see the details of the document over here. Now if I want all the documents so in order to disable it again because this is active means a user is here I want to see all the documents entered by GBI 061 to GBI 070 so entered by the range of user but not one by one taken all at a time so the range of users can be entered over here in the multiple selection window in which you can see that this is the single values and the second tab is for the select ranges so I can type in the GBI 061 to GBI 070 over here and then I press execute again a warning message being overridden and again a warning message being overridden and now actually 35 items are displayed and these are all the items which are entered by GBI 061 or 62 or 63 up to GBI 070 so this is the way how we actually use this button which is known as multiple selection button so we use this multiple selection button in the user ID field over here now so now I am going to use the multiple selection button not in the user ID field so first of all I need to delete the data which is mentioned over here so let us delete the data and after doing this I press enter so there is no data over here now I use the multiple selection button in the posting date let's say I want all the documents which have been posted on <coughs> maybe from February 1st 2017 to February 14th in 2017 so this will actually give me a list of uh, and of course this posting date range can be directly given over here because the two range is already present here so we can give the range directly here and you see there are 365 documents posted uh, between these two dates as a posting date now let's assume that I want documents posted on either 1st February or 7th February maybe I am interested my query is to list down all the documents which are entered either on 1st February or on 7th February so this is now single value selection so two single values have been selected and then I pressed execute button again and I see there are 43 documents which have been entered either on 6th 7th February or on 1st February so you see there is one document posted on 1st February and the rest of all them are posted on 7th February so this is the way we can actually see the document display and if I want to uh, see the details of any of these documents I can just press double click uh, double click and then I can see the details I hope uh, that it uh, will serve the purpose thank you